So we're doing Vlogmas. <laughs> All right. Okay. What? No, I, I like the way you introduced it. Sitting on the chair. Why? Because Vlogmas, in my mind, is vlogging some things people are doing. No, it doesn't yeah. have to be. Oh, okay. Because every time we... I, I just kind of watch something like Vlogmas, people are going around with the camera shaking all, all over. Oh, I'm doing this and then I'm doing that. Okay, look. Vlogmas, in my opinion, is when you post every single day until Christmas. So it's like a little oh, okay. gift every single day. It's like a little Christmas oh, gift. Oh, I love that. And uh, okay, we don't do much. Mm. So if we tried to vlog, it wouldn't... Yeah. It wouldn't come out great. Yeah. So we're gonna do this. So we're gonna be sitting. And we're very Christmassy. At least me, with this red sweater, the Christmas tree behind us, which, which I decorated. Yeah. Thank you for offering me to put a ball on it. You didn't even put a ball. I didn't. But you offered it me. <laughs> do you want to put a ball on the Christmas tree? And you said, mm, not right now. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. I'm editing. But I, I'm still in time to put something on it. It's finished. Yeah, but I you can't take something, something off and put it back on again. No, I feel like every member of the family should put something on the tree. That's all the decorations we have. We go outside, we buy. No! It's like a little wish. That's a tradition, no, right? No, how about you like pick an acorn or something and you hang it on the tree? Oh, that's a good idea. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> so today is going to be about our first time with a woman. You want to go first? I should... Okay, she's... Yeah. Mm -hmm. She assured me, assured me yesterday, you don't have to go into, you know, details. into details. No, it's okay. just how you feel, how you felt like. Okay, I can, I can manage that. My first time with a woman was when I was 45 years old. I felt like I was not going to have, you know, that moment. I was not going to meet the right person because for me it was important to do it with a person that meant something to me. And, uh, and it happened. So I was 45 and she was younger than me, not huge age gap, just younger. It was different, it was totally different, obviously. I had sex previously for 20 years with a man and uh, there are, you know, when you are in front of a man, you're a woman, there are roles, so I couldn't be really fully myself. Because you know how you separate masculine and feminine and you give some attributes to masculine, you give some attributes to feminine. Many of you might be different, but for me, uniting these two things, it, it, it becomes totally, a totally different thing, you know, like you to felt, be experienced. You felt the union of the feminine and masculine energies within you, basically. Yeah, but you can't take those attributes and those attributes, you put them together, you feel them together, and it becomes something new, mm -hmm. something that you can't even label. Yeah. As uh, okay, feminine, masculine. You can't, and that was it's a just part. Pee. Yeah, it was just part of me that I discovered back then. And uh, she came over, and we were cooking something in the kitchen. But there was a huge, uh, you know, chemistry between the two of us. And uh, yeah, so from the kitchen, then things happen and so on. <laughs> <laughs> and um, how did it feel for you, like for the first time? with a woman was it I romantic? felt like you know those teenagers that yeah. finally lose their virginity <laughs> I don't know maybe close to that I was walking on you know I was on cloud nine okay so I was like I couldn't I was so grounded the day after I don't think she went through the same experience as I did I, I don't think so because she was she's more experienced yeah. so I don't know how she felt I don't know I, I can't say but for me like I was like so grounded. People were talking to me and I was like, Ooh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and uh, even I was going, you know, I went back to the office the morning after and uh, I couldn't function, you know, I was always in that bubble thinking about it. Uh -huh. yeah. What about you? Okay, my first time is when I was um, 15 or 16 uh, with my first girlfriend. We both got really drunk. We weren't planning on it, like we weren't, planning on it happening. In fact, she told me just that day that she's asexual, which I was like, okay, it's fine. I don't mind. I don't care. I like you. I just like that closeness. Mm -hmm. And we were both really drunk and we were making out like crazy, you know. She kind of just at one point grabbed my hand and like, you know, like guided me. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> we're, really? We're doing this? Okay, I'm down. Like, I was down already, so um, yeah, we started like getting into it, and then. So how did you feel after? Were you ungrounded like me, like 
Well, okay, I was really drunk, so I don't know if I was ungrounded or I was just really drunk, but I Is no, it I a feel thing like... that you remember that the day after? No, right? I have good memory when I'm oh, okay. I have like really good memory. Um but I yeah, I think she didn't remember all of it, but I remembered all <laughs> of it. And I it was really nice for me to be honest. I wasn't like I didn't have any expectations. I didn't I didn't know what it was going to be like cuz growing up I thought I was going to be straight. Like I thought my first time would be with a guy. Mhm. But it happened to be with a girl and I was surprised how natural everything just happened like I, it wasn't I wasn't trying it just happened it was it felt so good and the morning after I was like thinking about it like damn that was nice and then those thoughts I'm definitely gay mm-hmm. <laughs> kind of yeah. I mean I think I already knew that at that point because we were making out and I was like oh my god the best thing ever but like yeah <laughs> definitely a validation okay and for those who might be wondering i never i never did anything with a guy i think that's what they call a gold star lesbian there's like lesbian slang okay so i'm um, like uh, silver i think you're tainted <laughs> okay i don't know what it's called i think all uh-huh. right okay so wow Whoa. there is a snowstorm today yeah it's very crispy looking yeah very Ooh. arctic looking so that's it that's for the first day and uh, we'll see you tomorrow so stay tuned okay bye bye